assalamu alaikum students today we are going to discuss angles this topic is from page number 207 to 209 of textbook 5 the first topic is adjacent angles adjacent angles are two angles that are formed by a common arm some of the important properties of the adjacent angles are as follows these angles are next to each other they have a common side they share a common vertex that is corner point and angles do not overlap look at the figure there are two angles in the figure that are angle abc and angle cbd that share a common side that is the orange line segment bc they also share a common vertex that is the point b and they are also next to each other so therefore they are called adjacent angles in the following figures determine if the angles labeled are adjacent or not and explain your answer with reasons so tell me are angles a and b adjacent the answer is angles a and b are adjacent because they share a common vertex b and a common side bc and they are also next to each other look at this figure tell me are angles a and b adjacent here the answer is angles a and b are not adjacent because although they share a common vertex b but they do not share a common side and they are not next to each other let's solve example number 1 question is find angle cab if angle a is equal to 40 degree and angle b is equal to 35 degree solution angle cad and angle dab are adjacent angles together they form angle cab so angle cab is equal to angle cad plus angle dab we know that angle cad is equal to 40 degree and angle dab is equal to 35 degree put the values and add both the numbers the answer is 75 that is the angle cab is 75 degree example number 2 the question is if angle aoc is equal to 155 degree and angle b is equal to 50 degree you have to find angle a solution angle a and angle b are adjacent angles and together they form angle aoc so angle aoc is equal to angle a plus angle b but here you have to find angle a so subtract angle b by angle aoc to get angle a after subtracting the values angle a is 105 degree example number 3 question if angle pqr is equal to 140 degree find angle x solution here we are following the same method as we did in question example number 2 but the only difference is that first we add both the given angles that is angle pqt that is 34 degree and angle sqr that is 76 degree and then we sum subtract it with angle pqr that is 140 degree for confirmation whether your answer is correct or not put the value of x that is 30 degree in the following figure and add all the numbers that is 34 plus 30 plus 76 if the value of x is correct then your answer after adding all the numbers must be equal to angle pqr so dear students for thorough practice solve the following do question number 1 question number 2 and question number 3 from page 209 of textbook 5 do worksheet 41 in workbook 5b thank you and have a nice day